To be rich is a huge responsibility. And here's the strange thing, is the first thing we need to do is acknowledge that we are rich. Many, many, many of us don't realize how rich we are. And yet if we get three meals in a day, and if we have a roof over our head, we are in the top few percent of the world. And James was obviously speaking to a very rich community and encouraging them to understand that with riches comes responsibility. James chapter 5, verse 1 to 6. Come now, you rich people, weep and wail for the misery that are coming to you. Your riches have rotted, your clothes are moth-eaten, your gold and silver have rusted, and their rust will be evidence against you. And I will eat your flesh like fire. You've laid up treasures for the last days. Listen, the wages of the laborer who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, cry out. And the cries of the harvester have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You've lived on the earth in luxury and pleasure. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. You've condemned and murdered the righteous one who does not resist you. So, just for a moment, think it, of it this way. You, to be rich is not the sin. Because where did the wealth come from? God gave you the wealth, or you got it dishonestly, in which case you should be ashamed. And that's what it says there. God gives you the riches, but it warns you, riches are temporary. There's nothing as fickle as riches. And we've learned that how many people have lost their careers and their homes and all these different things and had to win them back again. You need to ask yourself, how did I earn these riches? And what did I do with them? Did I use them to oppress or to set people free? To store up or to use to grow God's kingdom? Everything you have is a gift from God. Everything you have needs to be accounted for to God. Don't let it be a testimony against you, but let it be a testimony for you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come and thank you because you have entrusted us with so much. We who go to the cupboard and have a choice of things to wear, or the kitchen cupboard and a choice of things to eat. We who go to sleep warm at night. Help us to always remember that those good gifts come from you and they're given with much responsibility. Lord, let us not waste them by storing them up, but use them to build your kingdom here on earth so that they will not be a testimony against us and evidence against us, but evidence for the heart that we have and the trust we've put in Jesus. We pray this in and through your precious name. Amen.